Well, that's this woman here. She says that when she get in a relationship with someone or even a marriage, she wants a certain, you know, living arrangement to happen. Let's review it. This may be controversial, but whenever I live with a man, whether it's boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife, I want us to have our own bedroom. Like, who I did was it to put a couple in the same bed? We're already in this same house. You mean tell me we have to be in the same room, too? I don't like that. Like, I want my own space. I, I need my own space. I need. Okay. Okay. First of all, who does that? For one, who does that? Nobody. If you do not want to be in the same bedroom as your boyfriend or husband, then just don't be in a relationship. Just have a roommate, but you just have like an understanding that y'all kind of do your thing, you know, for, from time to time or whatever. That's what it sounds like. That's what you want. Cause you don't want a relationship. Like what man, in his right mind would say, okay, I'm gonna go to my room. You go to real room in the same house. Like what kind of weirdo crap is that? A place I can escape and be by myself. And no matter how much I love you, I need my own space. And it's like, plus, I don't want to compromise on decoration. Married couples or like people in relationships, their bedrooms are like neutral tone because they're trying to like uh, please the man that don't. I want pink shit. I want girly shit. And that's just me. So let's have our own space so we can just be our. What are you talking about? Most men don't even fully get involved with the decoration of a home like that. Do some men and say they opinion to some of it? Yes. But the average man kind of let the woman decorate how she wants, you know, let her set things up how she wants, you know, I mean, but yes, you have two people in the house. So yeah, I mean, his opinion and your opinion, you know, both come into that situation, but nine times out of 10, it's still going to lean more so toward what the wife wants to do because if you want to go traditionally, the man provides a house, the woman makes it a home. So that's what that is. You talking about girly, like, like how old are you? Like my, my eight year old talks about girly this and girly that, right? You grown dog on woman. You supposed to elevate to grown woman status and grown woman has a certain look. You don't look like a, a little child. That's this, this is like, I don't know what is woman come from I'm talking about going to your own space. Like I said, once again, you don't need to be in a relationship with nobody because there's something wrong with you. Self in that space. And it's like, sometimes you spend the night in my bedroom, sometimes you spend the night in your bedroom. That sounds fun. That sounds exciting to me. And sometimes. No, that sounds stupid. Nice. Maybe I just want to sleep by myself. What's the big deal? I love that. You know, I don't want a traditional. You go to your room when I'm tired of your. But I want you close, but not too close. And this is why. Uh, this is why. Um, Delta Airlines and um, American Airlines and, you know, uh, KLM and uh, just different, you know, airlines that, that's flying out of the country. This is why they're getting an in, you know, flux of business from black men because of people like her right there. Who who wants to deal with that? That, that woman crazy. That woman is utterly crazy. It, it looks, it's not a man's job to be trying to figure that out or even play a game with her. But see, she'd be the main one want to want to, talk bad about, uh, uh, you know, the, what the brothers are doing when they don't want to put up with her crazy behind. You just need to go it on and get your apartment or house buy your dog or a cat, whatever, and just do you. And that way you, you ain't got to deal with that issue or problem anymore because something, something really wrong with you. And, and let's call it what it is. You know, good and well, you wasn't raised that way. Definitely not in the black community. You wasn't. That's all this new age crap that y'all to come up with now since y'all been around these folks, because I'm telling you from experience, Ever since y'all black folks have really been immersing themselves into them folks culture, you know what folks I'm talking about. Y'all done lost y'all last mind. But think about it. When we was more immersed into our culture, notice our marriage rates were higher. Notice our morality was better. But the moment you start immersing yourself to them folks culture, notice your, your, your morality went to the toilet and then your marriage race went to the toilet. Have you noticed that? I noticed it. But see, coming from my generation, Gen X, I got to kind of see the, the transition to all that. I got to see kind of still how it was in the old school, then the transition to that millennial area, then to the Gen Z era. And I'm telling you, just as a person got to see that whole transition, it was way better back then. Way better. Them grandmothers of old, like my grandma, my great grandma, ain't nothing like them. None of y'all can even compare to that. And the brothers, some of the brothers have seen those that too. And this is why they say no. And the only people that halfway compare to that today, like I said, just at least in America, most of them are gonna get married pretty quick because they stand out. 
So this is why these brothers have said, you know, I need to go internationally. And I think one person has said to me, um, because I got to address that ignorance that they think that every time a brother go to a, a different, you know, country is someone outside the community. Even if they do that outside the community, that's their business, it's not yours. But you do realize that there are black women outside of America. You know that, right? You know, there are black women in Mexico. They're in the Caribbean. They are actually in Colombia. They're in Brazil. Well, Brazil, shoot, the majority of the country is black. You do know that, right? Panama, a lot of black people there. Or don't, you know, talk about the continent of Africa. People talk about the Philippines and Thailand. You know, there are some black people there too. If that's what they're looking for. You're not the only ones in the world. You, do you realize that black America is a small part of the diaspora? Do you understand that? Please stop being ignorant. But I understand to a point that you was educated by them folks and they didn't teach us nothing. They really didn't. Like I said, they didn't teach me nothing either. I had to go learn on my own. So, I mean, I don't blame you completely for not knowing certain things because you was taught in the public school system like I was. And I didn't learn anything either. I had to learn outside of that. But just newsflash, there are black women outside of America. You, you, you are not the only ones just to say, you know that, but y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, this situation here. You know, this, this woman lost her mind.